protein transport. Okay, we're going to do a little little podcast on how proteins are produced, modified, and released out of a cell, or how they might remain inside the cell. First off, we have the nucleolus, which you can see right up on the top uh, left-hand part of the screen here, and this is responsible for making ribosomes, and these will migrate uh, and position themselves on the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which you can see here. And this is the site of where proteins are made. The DNA is a very, very large molecule and can't leave the nucleus, so it sends out um, messenger RNA, so it is transcribed, and this single-stranded polynucleotide will leave via these pores and find these ribosomes where translation actually occurs. And this is where you get transfer RNAs bringing in amino acids, which are joined together by peptide bonds, making a polypeptide. This polypeptide will leave the rough endoplasmic reticulum in vesicles. So this is often a marking point in exams. And these migrate to the Golgi complex, or the Golgi apparatus, where they fuse and release their contents. So these proteins are meandering through this uh, Golgi apparatus, which isn't a fixed structure. And as they go through from the cyst to the transface, they are modified. And examiners love to, for you to write down uh, examples of modification. These could include glycolipids, glycoproteins, glycosylation is a lovely keyword to use there. Even concentration of proteins occur inside the Golgi. Proteins will then leave the Golgi in vesicles and migrate towards the plasma membrane where they fuse, often a marking point, and release their contents into the extracellular environment. These little protein products here could be hormones or enzymes, part of the endocrine system where they can float around in the bloodstream, go around the body and act on target cells. Alternatively, these vesicles over here shown on the right could remain inside the cell and help to form lysosomes. And you'll find many of these in white blood cells which contain hydrolytic enzymes that can digest engulfed pathogens. Also, if we think of uh, specialized cells such as a sperm cell, this contains a modified lysosome known as the acrosome in the head. So sometimes examiners may ask how proteins get in to the acrosome, and it's essentially this whole process ending up in here. On my next page, you can see that I've written out the sequence of events again, which I've just discussed. So you need genes to be switched on which is transcription. Uh, mRNA will leave the nucleus, go to ribosomes where you have translation, polypeptides, vesicles, Golgi, modification with examples, vesicles, fusing, exocytosis. It's well worth pausing this page here and making a revision crib sheet on this information as examiners often ask questions as there's lots of lovely detail here to write down. Good luck.